Hey everyone, it's your girl Lydia Patel, on-air personality, television and radio host extraordinaire, and you're watching It's All About You. Happy Hanukkah everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus. <laughs> Um, my name is Josh Pierre. I am the Democratic State Committee slash District Leader for the 42nd Assembly District. Uh, welcome everyone to the Bridge Multicultural Advocacy Project. Every year, the founder of the Bridge, Mark Mayor Appel, puts together this wonderful event which brings together Christian, yeah, Jews, Muslims, and people of all faiths. I see you have some fans here tonight. Uh, people of all faiths to celebrate the holidays together. How often do you, as a Christian, get to celebrate with both Muslims and Jews? How often do Jews get to celebrate with Muslims? It's not very often that these things happen, but they can happen, and people always talk about them happening, right? But Mark actually puts this into play. He makes it happen. And he's a man of action, and he can that. So, I'm going to call up the man who's been making this happen for the last four years, Mark Mayer Bell, to come and introduce our guest. Thank you so much, Josh. Josh is one of the new great young leaders coming up in Brooklyn. And he's a district leader, but he's also more important than that. He's helped us with Captain Romero in the drive to Puerto Rico and other drives. And we know that. The future lies big things for you, Josh. But thank you very much for hosting. Thank you. Welcome. I, I can't believe that it's four years since we opened up the bridge with Papa Nagila, right? Um, it's a beautiful, it was a beautiful four years. Four years ago, when we opened up the facility, the bridge, I myself had doubts. How do I get rabbis, Jews, Christians, Hanukkah menorah lights, Christmas trees. How do we do that in one room? It's difficult, different cultures, different people, different costumes, different food, different music. But we did it for four years, constantly. And 2017 was an amazing year. We had three drives. We had uh, Glenn and volunteers going to Florida to help out. Where's David? We helped out in Texas. We helped out in Puerto Rico when we did a major drive, and not talking about the major drive we did with the government of Haiti in 2016, early 17 as well. So we did amazing things in 2017. The music classes go on. This is not an event for tonight. Tonight we celebrate the event that we do here the other 364 days of the year. So today is just a celebration of really, a real blessed. I have been blessed, and all of us have done this together as a team, that we have the greatest political and community leaders in the city of New York, from any borough, even Staten Island. We have the great team here. We have the public advocate, who encouraged us to do the work at the bridge for four years, and she even encouraged us to get a bigger Christmas tree. And I don't know if you know that about her, but she's a great, Latka maker. Yes. For Hanukkah, right? Yes. And then, of course, we have our close working partner, somebody we've been working for a long time, the Honorable District Attorney from Keys County, and the Queens County DA of Keys County, Eric Gonzalez. You don't have to grow happy anymore. Can't wait. And, of course, we got Rodney's Bichette, who's the champion of women's rights. Lately, she became a historian. She actually has been talking and writing about the relationships between the Haitian and Jewish community during the Holocaust and post-Holocaust period. So bless you for that. Thank you for that. I'm going to call the member of Amanda Urasnik, who is an attorney, president of the Staten Island Community Council, a leading jurist in New York, and also a future political candidate. In the block. A friend of mine for 41 years, believe me, I'm older than 41 years. A man who worked all his life with his yarmulke in 
in the most difficult borough in the city, in the Bronx. Calvin Yeager, the newly elected councilman from the 44th Council Medical District, who even before he takes office has already implemented school safety issues, has actually written bills prior to coming into office. So we welcome you here, Calvin. And of course, Josh Pierre, we know him. Great community leader and our guest of honor, Captain Romero, who's an amazing, amazing individual. It's the first time in my life I'm not scared of a cop. And Carol Elias, a community leader, who's done so much for the community working with Rodney's office. And where is um, Mino Asara? Where is she? She'll be getting the award. Another amazing. Another amazing Moroccan woman who's done so much for the community with Afida and others. Um, so let's get the program going, okay? So the first award he is, is gonna, the district attorney is going to assist me in that, and he's going to talk a little bit about her, the public advocate oh, boy. of the city of New York, Tish James. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, it's great to see you. It's great to see everyone here again. This is my third time being present, and so it's a tremendous honor for me to be here today to uh, help give a very uh, an award that's been very well deserved. I want to congratulate all tonight's honorees, to Carol Elias, to uh, Secretary General of the Moroccan American Council, to Empower Women, Mina Asari, <laughs> Captain uh, Romero, he's our commanding officer of the 63rd Precinct, and it's our first work, all of us together, with the captain and with the precinct, is why we've had the historic lows in crime in the city of New York, but especially here in Brooklyn and locally at the 63rd Precinct. So I just want to congratulate everyone um, to being here with the bridge today because for many years this organization has led the way to bring unity um, to people with different backgrounds to have one focus and that focus is fairness, justice, equality, and that we can make tremendous strides if we work together. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, and it's just the opposite. It's just the opposite of what's happening from Washington, D.C. You know, we have an administration that looks to divide us. They look to target and really go after the, the people who are the lowest parts of political clout, the most vulnerable among us, the least heard in America. So that's why today, this getting together, and I look at the diversity in this room, this is why it's so important. Tuesday night was the first night of Hanukkah, and we also received a miracle on that night, because goodness prevailed against the odds in Alabama. We rejected a Senate candidate who had a lot of hateful rhetoric, a person who had been accused by many of preying on young children, and we beat him. And how did that happen? Well, one of the reasons that happened besides the organization, the unity, is that there were many dynamic, powerful black women in Alabama who understood the stakes, organized, and took action. So we owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude because of them. This guy in Alabama won't have a chance to further degrade and go after the values and the rights that we all cherish. And so luckily for us, not only do we have powerful, black, smart, dynamic women in Alabama, we have them right here in New York City and in Brooklyn. And a shining example of that is our public advocate, Tish James. Being here and being able to be part of giving Tish this award today is personal for me. Because as many of you know, when I decided to run against steep odds to be the next Brooklyn District Attorney, Tish was the first elected official who stood by my side. She worked hard.
hard to make sure that many of you who believed in her, she served as an ally and as a person who went forward and said, I believe in Eric's vision of fairness, justice, and equality for Brooklyn, and I stand by him. And so I stand by her today because I share with Tish an un a belief that we can do what they said was impossible in this city, which is we can, can reduce the number of people we send to prison. Right. Each and every year, we can send less people to prison, but we're going to keep our families safe, and we're going to have fundamental fairness in our criminal justice system. <laughs> we're going to continue to do great things together, all of us, um, and Tish has repeatedly, repeatedly made it clear that she's a difference maker in our city. She's been a strong, progressive voice for criminal justice reform. She's also been very, very, very important in holding landlords accountable, protecting residents of NYCHA, revamping the New York City's worst landlord list, all for put people on notice that when you take advantage of the vulnerable, us here in power, will take notice and will take action on behalf of justice. And for many years, Tisha has been an advocate of making sure that children and families can continue to have success. And one of the things she did is fight for New York City public school students to have free lunch. Right, so that all students can come in and get a healthy meal and not feel embarrassed because they needed to have that. And I know that she believes, as others here do, that we need to expand that to the other schools, the private schools. She's been involved in extending family, uh, family leave and by fighting to end gender wage discrimination. Time again and time again, she's been on the leader of issues that strengthen families. And so with that, I'm going to say that I am confident we're going to see a lot more of great work from Tish in the years to come. And so it's with tremendous pride and gratitude, and it's my honor to work with, with my friend here, Mark Lapel, to give Tish name tonight's award. Tish, please come up. Assemblywoman Ranice Bouchette, who's making a great 
difference in the state legislature and is truly a Haitian sensation. We want to uh, again recognize uh, Ranice Bouchette for all that she is doing. I want to recognize District Leader Josh Pierre for all that he is doing. Thank you. Of course, my colleague in government and my friend who is going to make a huge difference in the city council, Councilmember Yeager. Uh, ladies, to a very, very handsome captain of the 63rd Precinct, Captain Romero. Yay! Ladies, stay away from him. Okay? He's married, so leave him alone. But he's ours tonight. <laughs> Um, uh, to Detective Pa, Detective Benjamin, um, to uh, Miss Carol Elias, who's absolutely beautiful. Give it up for, for Carol. She's absolutely gorgeous, and she deserves this award. She does so much, and oftentimes she goes unrecognized, and tonight is her night. And so I thank my sister for being here. And of course, to Nina Acera, the Moroccan American Council for Empowering Women. Thank you. not only in Brooklyn, you empower women. You set the example for women, and I thank you so much for all that you are doing. And yes, Alabama! Not only Alabama, New Jersey. We won New Jersey. We also won uh, Virginia. And it was women, women, which is the backbone of our American democracy. Women will save our country. And so I just want to thank Mina and so many women um, in this room for standing up. But I particularly want to thank black women for standing up and voting 96%, 98% in Alabama. That's incredible. Incredible. 98%. And so I know uh, the best is yet to come, particularly in the city of New York, as we continue to organize and galvanize the power of women in the city. I really, listen, the bridge builder, for all of those in the back, may I just have your attention for just a minute. Thank you. The food will still be there. <laughs> A round of applause for the greatest bridge builder in the city of New York, Marco Pell. <laughs> He's a bridge builder. And at a time when we need to build bridges and at a time when we need to come together as a community, it's really critically important that we honor and re we recognize him. And that we all understand that that which divides us is really artificial. And what is more in common is the thread that runs in this room, and that is the thread of humanity. And so all of us must stand together when anyone is under attack, when our members of the Jewish community are under attack, or our Muslim brothers and sisters are under attack, or African American or women are under attack. All of us must stand together as one face against those who would hate us. And there's more of us than there are those outside these walls. So during this holiday season, when there are so many people who are suffering from depression, we have more individuals committing suicide during the holiday season. We've got to think about others before we think about ourselves. And we've got to take a step back and celebrate all that we have. Celebrate our faith, celebrate our family, and celebrate our community. And celebrate how beautiful Brooklyn is and that Brooklyn should lead this way in the city and in this nation. The bridge should be an example. All of you should be an example. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark, for all that you are doing. Brooklyn and the city is the greatest. You gotta make some noise. Put down your food and tap it up. One more time for Marco Pell for all that he is doing.
We have very, very extensive plans at the bridge. Could you raise the mic for me? Yep. In June of 2018, on the second floor, we're going to have the first time in the city of New York, the Bridge Diversity Channel, our own TV station. Wow. Yes. Wow. And we're going to broadcast the message is going to become not only 365 days here at the Bridge, but it's going to be a virtual message across the country, and of course we'll cover it, Alabama. Right, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, in some of those states that we have a problem, it's very cheap, we have time. <laughs> so we're going to zoom in from international waters or whatever, we're going to get the message from the bridge across the country on our own Bridge Diversity Channel. Yes. And we're also, we're also taking a trip not anybody is invited, but our own Unity team. Raise your hand, Unity team. These are people that are with, with us since the day we started. We're all, going to, we're all taking a tour, a heritage tour to the state of Israel. Wow. We're going to be leaving July 8th. Kathy's coming. Vita's uh, coming, right? We're all going. We're going to have a 10 day tour. We're going to cover Jewish sites, the Wailing Wall. We're going to cover the Yad Vashem. We're going to go to Ramallah, but don't tell my mother. Uh, we're going to go to Palestine. We're going to go to the birthplace of Jesus Christ, which I've been in all these places. And we're going to have a magnificent tour. And Bob Kaplan from Jewish Community Relations, somehow during the tour, will join us. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Let's go.